If you happen to subscribe to the channel, you've probably noticed I haven't put a video out in a couple weeks. The simple answer is I've been busy. Getting the little guy ready for kindergarten at kindergarten camp, karate, basketball, all kinds of things. And also I've been creating content for my other channel, which is mostly motorcycle related. Recently picked up a, another dirt bike and been doing some modifications to that. So if you'd like to see that, be sure to check out the video right here in the corner. We'll have a direct link to that video series. In this video, we're going to get back to the basics. There's not going to be any customization, any restoration, anything like that. It's been a long time since I've actually purchased a die cast for my collection. I don't really collect that much. When I find something that strikes my eye, I have to get it. In this video, we've got the 1965 Lincoln Continental. Now this is from the Matrix. I'm not a huge fan of the movie, but the Lincoln Continental happens to be one of my favorite cars. And I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. It was the day after, I believe, I purchased the gold leafing product. I saw it there, I went back the next day and got it. Reason being, it's $7.99, which is not bad, but I could use a 40% off coupon and get it for that much cheaper. Now, if you're a collector that likes the card art, here it is right here in the front and then in the back. But fortunately or unfortunately for me, I don't really care about the card art. So we are going to crack it. And let me tell you, this is a heavy casting. Some very nice details on this particular casting. That doesn't roll really well, but we don't care. And like most of the Green Light series, this features a full metal base, rubber tires, and die cast body. And as you can see in the back, there is a screw, so apparently you can take this one apart really easily. And here we have a closer look. The details are amazing for a 64 scale car. Got the correct tail lights, the rear emblem, license plate, of course the door handles, even the keyhole, the window trim, and check out the wipers. Very realistic. Correct wheels, the white wall, everything. Now before we look at this any further, we'll show you a few of the other castings that we have in the Lincoln Continental. Now here is a Hot Wheels version, which does have some custom wheels on it, but as you can tell, it's typical Hot Wheels. It looks more like a cartoon. Now this casting, even with the correct wheels, just looks funny. Now granted, these are different year Lincolns, but you get the point. Another fine example would be the Johnny Lightning. Compared to the Hot Wheels, night and day. Again, it does have the painted windshield wipers, all the same features of the green light. But as you can tell, the wheels still aren't really in the proper scale, as well as the wheel arches. But honestly, it is a pretty fine example. And once again, back to the star of the show. There's the opening hood. Now, the Johnny Lightning, nor the Hot Wheels have an opening hood, which is fine. But it closes very nicely. Very nice paint. And of course, the wheels are definitely more proportionate to the body. And really, overall, it just blows the other two out of the water. The Johnny Lightning would be second, obviously. The Hot Wheels would be a distant third. Now, I'm not entirely sure, but it is possible that Hot Wheels makes an adult collectible version of this car. If they do, I haven't seen it. And I have a feeling that it would not match up to this green light. Before I end the video, I'd like to say a few things. First of all, I want to thank all my subscribers. You guys are amazing. We're at 72,000 right now. I really hope to make... a 100,000 by the end of the year, that would be an awesome goal to reach. And without you, I couldn't do it and I would not be making these videos. So truly, thanks again from the bottom of my heart. I try to get back to everybody. If I don't, I apologize. Sometimes I miss a comment, an email, what have you, but I try my best. And the last thing I'd like to talk about would be Patreon. If you notice, I never mentioned Patreon. I do not have a Patreon set up. I've always felt kind of weird about it had a few people recommend that I start Patreon and the only reason why I haven't is because I don't feel it's fair to just throw Patreon out there without offering something. So the only thing I can come up with is 
creating a Patreon. And then once I get to a certain level of subscribers, maybe do a giveaway once a month. It would have to be out of a drawing. So if we got, you know, 20 Patreons, hopefully more than that, but if we got 20, I definitely couldn't give a car to all 20. So I really would like to know your thoughts on that. My thinking is a Patreon anywhere from two to five dollars a month. Each month we have one specific custom we do. We draw the name, then the winner would get that particular custom. Now I'd certainly have to set some rules in place, whereas if you won in July, you could not win again in August, two or three months in a row, that kind of thing. I'm still working out the details on that. I'd really love to hear your thoughts on that in the comments section below. Or if you have a better idea. Now keep in mind, it can't be something that takes a huge amount of time. Unfortunately, I work anywhere from 50 to 55 hours a week. Plus we have a family. So I don't get a whole lot of time to dedicate to this. But I do plan on trying to do one custom or one restoration per week. But as mentioned earlier, it's summer. Doing things around the house. Doing things in the garage. So unfortunately, the Hot Wheels right now has been... A, on the bottom of the list it's still on the list and hopefully we'll have another video up in the next week or so and i think that's going to do it for this one if you have any questions or comments feel free to post those below and if you're interested in any of the tools i use including the display stand here check out the description that is located below the video i have amazon links to just about everything i use and as always thanks for watching the Greenlight series. This features a 